Hey, what's up, everybody? I just want to kind of show off some of my settings here that I have going on with the PSP on the new 351 Elec 1.0.7. I'll show those off a little bit here. You guys have seen me run this game before uh, on this channel. You can see it runs pretty damn nice. All right, so what you want to do is you want to hit the two Joy-Con buttons here until they click. You're going to want to go over here to where it says settings. Press the B button. That's your select button. You'll see your buffering rendering. Make sure that is on come down here to frame skipping you want to put that on one number of frames is what that wants to be set on default it's on um, percent of FPS or whatever so put that on number of frames and for me I've seen 40 seems to work well um, this is like an override in here guys this is the uh, force max FPS uh, setting um, I leave it where it's at like I said uh, 40 seems to do me really well on this game so that's what I use for those settings there. So we can just back out. All you do is go all the way down to the bottom. Also, they just add this too. If you want to exit this now, you can go here to exit. We'll go up here to continue. I'll let you know. And it shows 15 uh, frames a second. Like I said, it's not super, super uh, awesome, but it runs really, really well. Um, and you'll get all kinds of different frame rates here and there. It will skip a little bit. But man, it runs so good on this brand new uh, firmware, guys. Run freaking amazing. All right, so let's get out of here. So like I said, you're going to hit these two buttons. Go all the way down to where it says exit. And bam, you're back to the emulation station selection screen or whatever. Uh, you got PSP in here. Neo Geo. This thing is just fully loaded, guys. Fully loaded. You got your Scum VM stuff in here. If you guys are any uh, big fans of these, I love doing some uh, Scum VM adventure games. That's the front end music going, you guys hear there. Game Boy Advance. All right, so to leave a game. Um, like a Game Boy Advance game, we'll slow this one up really quick and we'll show you guys. To leave a game, I get this one every day. Come on, let me skip it. Alright, so to leave the game, you're going to press these two buttons. You're going to hit this button here, B. It's going to take you back, okay? Now, you can either go up to the bottom here where it says Quit Retro Arcs, or you can scroll all the way down. But then you're just going to hit the uh, A button to activate that, and it'll kick you back out of the game, back to the game selection screen. So I get that one a lot. But uh, the build's going good, guys. It's, I mean, it runs everything so damn good. Um, I'm really enjoying the uh, RG351. Um, what else do I want to talk about on here? PSP settings, we talked about that. Oh, some theme settings. So if you guys get this from me and you want to change some of the stuff in here, like if the music's too loud or so on and so forth, right? So what you'll do is you can come down to sounds here. Uh, music volume, that's for the uh, front end music, okay? But you can come down here to the front end music. Uh, you want to check that off. Like I said, some of the PSP games on this um, one, if you have this off, it won't, uh, it won't glitch out on you at all. I'm not sure why it's doing that, but that seems to be the workaround for it. Uh, only some of the games that load in-game uh, in sound, uh, music, in-game music, for some reason it's pulling from that file and just makes the screen go crazy. But I figured that uh, that's the workaround to get around that. Um, and also it does have uh, updates capabilities now with the uh, 1.0.7. That's also uh, been kicked off. But um, you can go in through the different themes and stuff. There's all kinds of themes in here installed. You can change them, edit them. I mean, it's just so much stuff you guys can do. 
Um, but this change like some of the basic settings. Um, let's say you want to view. Oh, let me jump over to the uh, SNES, for instance. All right, so let's say you want to do some quick changes in here. Instead of having to go into RetroArch, you're going to come up here and hit Select. And then you're going to come down here to the bottom. So you're either going to do Advanced System Options, so it's system-wide, or Game Options just for this game, which is the top one here, Advanced System Options. So that's where I'm going to go into is Advanced System Options. Take a second for it to load, but it will load up. Okay, so now we're into it. So right now, 3-2 will give you the full screen, and on uh, RGA scaling is on. So that way when I do load a game, I get the full potential of the screen, but the ratios look pretty nice. RGA scaling makes it look really beautiful. I'm not a uh, reason why my camera is just not working me today, guys, on uh, on clarity here, but uh, it's all good. All right, so that's kind of where you go in there to change the settings. Let's see what else I put down here. I kind of want to cover what we're on here with you guys. All right, so let's go into here real quick. I'll show you guys something else. All right, where did it go? There it is. So on Nintendo, um, the DS system. So let's say we load this game and we want to get out of it. So how will we get out of it? And the menu on Damaso is super small. So unless you have super eyes, or not like me, I have old eyes, so I really can't get out of it. So to get out of Damaso, you're going to do the same thing by clicking these two buttons here, the two Joy-Con buttons. But as you'll see, it highlights the top, so you want to go to the very, very, very bottom, and then click it. And then, then bam, you're back out to the menu. That's how you get out of the uh, Nintendo DS games. Um, PlayStation 2, you can hit A, and uh, I think it's Start at the same time. To get out of most of the games for that. Um, here we'll show you something else that runs pretty good on here. It'll have a little bit of lag at the beginning. Um, but I got it pretty dialed in I think. Let me get over to the uh, PSP real quick. Let me skate around this corner so I can see what we're doing. Let me scroll up here real quick. All right, there it is, Mono GP. All right, so remember I said I don't have the background music off, so we'll see if we can get it to do the bug. And if it'll do it, I'll be able to show it to you. If not, then you'll just be able to see me play uh, some Moto GP. At the beginning, this will run a little sluggish when it starts up at the, um, the starting line screen. It will run a little bit sluggish. Come on, let's roll, save everything, let's go. I'm just going to go real quick here. As you can see, I mean, it runs it great. And I'll show off the settings as well that I have in here uh, on this uh, on this game within the PPSS PP settings there. See right here, it runs, it'll run a little sluggish at the starting gate, but uh, it'll stop. It'll stop. All right, so we're off. I don't know how I'm going to be able to play looking through the phone, but we'll do our best. But right there, as soon as you pass, the skip will stop, and then... Uh, you could totally take over. Oh, my head is trying to drive this through my phone. And like I said, this thing, it runs good. So you can totally play PSP now really, really well on the new 351 ELEC 1.0.7. And that's kind of where I'm staying now with it. All right, so to get out of here, I always pause it. You're gonna hit these two buttons. Oh yeah, I wanna show off my settings in here really quick. Sorry about that. Jump over to settings. All right, so for this game, OpenGL obviously, render buffering, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so frame skip one, number of frames. Alfie, I had that on. You wanna have auto frame skip off for this one and put it on, keep it on 40 and it'll run it great. Um, I've had zero problems with it. Like I said, the only thing I have on this one is if I have the background music on, sometimes this will freak out and then uh, it'll make the screen get like it tries to load the uh, emulation station through the game. So but as long as you have the background music uh, loading turned off for your front end music, then you'll totally be able to uh, 
to rock this with no no bugs at all on the PSP. I've had no issues with hours and hours of play after making those changes. Let me switch over to this controller. It'd be a lot easier. So that's it for this game. I guess we'll pause out and I'll jump out, guys. We'll show you a couple more little things and then uh, we'll conclude it. We'll get this video up. I appreciate everybody, uh, like I said, over the time heading over to the shop, getting stuff. Really appreciate that. Uh, put a lot of time into these images. I hope you guys are enjoying the ones that have purchased them and gotten them. Um, but uh, yeah, so we'll jump out of here and then we'll show you guys a, a couple more things. So once again, both Joy-Cons. Scroll all the way down to the awesome added feature and kabunga, we're out of there. We go back to the uh, game screen. So we got PSP on this, guys. I'll go through the, the machines we have on this build. We got PSP on this build. PSP minis. The all games, that's uh, like, you know, every game in the whole entire system's in there. Got our favorite section, last played, Amstrad CPC, MAME, Atari 2600, some more Atari uh, 5200, Atari 7800, some Lynx, Atari ST, Atomic Wave, Wonder Swan, some Qualt Color, ColecoVision, Commodore 64, Amiga, Amiga CD32, the Odyssey 2, Television, uh, Votrex guys, oops, sorry about that. MSX is on here. A bunch of PC engine stuff, CD ROM, Super 16, Super 16, uh, NEC Turbo 16 CD, Nintendo 64, Nintendo DS, Nintendo Entertainment System, the hacks for that as well. Famicom, uh, this system, guys, uh, the Game Watch, kind of cool. There's a bunch of cool uh, games. I remember buying these back when I was a kid. And I used to think it was the coolest thing in the whole world. Those graphics were like the greatest thing, uh, but as you know now, they're really not that great. We got the Game Boy Wrong, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Super Famicom, Super Nintendo. Uh, so the hacks for that as well. A Virtual Boy. Got that uh, full collection there for that one. Pokemon Mini for all those Pokemon fans out there. Pokemon fans out there. We got you uh, covered on this one. Uh, we got some ports, guys. Uh, different ports. Doom. Doom runs super awesome on here. Um, man, I mean, it's just an all-around amazing machine. This last game we'll show off, guys, and we'll cut out here. We're already almost to the... Uh, 15 minute mark and we'll get this video uploaded uploaded for you guys today all right so let's show off some doom real quick show how good this runs oh god screwed up couldn't remember what the damn shoot button was there for a minute I must have picked like kill me quickly. See, so yeah, this runs so awesome. So if you guys are looking to check out, even the uh, bumper buttons work really well too. Sorry about that, guys. But yeah, so uh, this is it. This is the new build, guys. The thing's freaking sweet. If you guys are looking to check it out or want to uh, learn some more about it, you can always message me on Facebook or head over to the uh, CalcineSportsCars.blogspot.com. Anyway, guys, thank you for checking out the Ghetto Finger Time Machine image, and this is it. We'll call it at this one. You guys have a great day now. Thank you.